everybody, it's Nico, and today is October 21st. 21st. Thanks, Kayan. Kayan's here Allie's too. Birthday. It's Ali's birthday. It's Ellie. Ellie. Oh, yeah. Happy birthday, Ellie, Queen, Bay. Love her. But uh, it's also the Lantern Festival at the Murakami Gardens here. So we're picking up some friends and we're gonna go. So that's gonna be fun. And we're also. Gothic gay. Lolita. We're gay. Gothic Lolita. Mato homu because we're trash and we are never over the girls. You're never free. I'm never free. I'm kind of sad that I didn't bring my gay witchcraft button, but. Oh, yeah. What you gonna do? All right, well, we've picked up the boy. Hello? I forgot to say hello, hello last time. Hello. 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 But we are almost there, and then we're gonna meet Jade there, and... Potty. Yeah, we, we have to take potty breaks. Please. <laughs> yeah, it'll be four by the time we get there. We can go inside and potty. All right, sweet. Well, we'll see you when we get there. Murakami Museum holds its version of the Japanese Oban Festival on the third Saturday of October every year. We took the opportunity of the scenery to take a couple photos in our outfits. Tickets for this event normally sell out within hours. However, Kayan was able to wake up exactly when it came on to grab tickets for us. We didn't really get to experience much of the actual festival due to it raining for over half of it, but luckily we were able to get decent seats for the actual lighting of the lantern. Though it seems really crowded, we did find a very good spot. Priorities, Nico. Priorities. Are you in recording? I, I did press the button. Is it say recorded? It's raining now. It's oh my god, kill me. Now they're even to have a harder time lighting the lanterns. I guess you do fireworks in rain, right? No, Ibarra! I cannot handle this. Oh no, emergency boy. Time to break in the competo. I love edgy, edgy. I love emo edgy. I love my chemical romance. Slightly itchier, itchy. <laughs> For those who do not know, or have never heard of it, the Lantern Festival is a homage to ancestors who return for a brief visit to visit their families from the afterlife. It's celebrated by creating floating lanterns, in our case they float on water, and writing messages for them. Sending the lanterns is, all, is supposed to be a guiding light for the ancestors to return home, as well as our farewell to them. Murakami hand makes over 1,000 of them each year and almost always sells out. Near the end of the festival, a big boat-shaped lantern is lit in the middle of the lake. Guests are encouraged to write personal messages on slips called Hanzaku and tie them to the boat before it's set out, thus closing the ceremony. Go on, Haley. I was gonna say, it sure would be unfortunate if a cryptid just came out and killed us instantly. <laughs> hey everybody, it's Nico, and we finished the uh, thing. 
the festival. We survived it. It rained half of it, so that's why there's not a lot of footage at all. But I did get some nice pics, so that's good. There's Madoka. There's Haley and Kayan, because we're sleeping over tonight, and then we're, I don't know, we're going to do something tomorrow, but we'll find out. So, um, thanks for watching and keep it peachy!